righty, Steeler Nation, do we have a fun one today? But before we get into the title of the video, and maybe I should, you know, stay in my lane, I've been told, hey, Mark, you don't know football. I've got another new one. I'm just, if you don't like the product that I maybe give out, I talk about the Steelers, go and watch someone else or make your own channel, right? I woke up today and I saw this comment. And also, I know that you don't have to like everything in this world. You can have your opinion. You don't like the content, sure, it's fine. Okay, not, not I'm not for everyone. I'm not saying I have to be. I'm not that uh, you know. Um, I'm more level-headed in that sense. Like I don't really care if you like it, you have fun. Let's talk Steelers. Let's go. But this comment just makes me laugh, man. Uh, I saw this on my video the other day, uh, yesterday when I did a video about multiple choice. And look, yes, it's a very odd idea. I don't think anyone's ever done it. Uh, it was quite you know maybe odd making it, but I thought it was fun. I was giving you guys, the viewer, a chance to give me feedback, uh, which I'm going to go through. Give me feedback um, on what you think is going to happen next. And we had the Steelers signing any player with A, Bud Dupree B, and uh, Mitchell Trubisky C, and Edmonds D. Now, for a fact, this happens on the daily occurrence with Chat Sports. Every time you watch a video with Chat Sports, with, with the main competition uh, that I have, or the main Pittsburgh Steelers news website out there, you are fed with about six to eight, seven prompts per video. I rarely do this. I rarely ever say, hey, man, sub. Hey, hit that like. I don't do that. I just come on here and talk Steelers. Now, sometimes I do, but most of the time I come here and talk Steelers. But I thought it was a bit of fun. But apparently, barely one person doesn't really like it. And that's fine. But I just found this comment really stupid, right? I'm not going to name the person. You know who you are if you, if you, if you watch this far. I'm just, I just don't agree with you. And I say, do you make your own channel? Uh, they say here, if you have to, if you have to go to the extent of this nonsense to have a video, did you really have to have a video? Don't dilute your product. Hey, Steelers Nation, there's nothing going on today. Have a great day. Much better than vain yanglings. Pretty much like then, much better than spitting your chops. Now, I'll be honest, right? I can sit here and say nothing for a minute and a half. That wasn't a minute and a half, right? But I can do that. I can do whatever I want because it's my channel, right? I don't get this, okay? If you don't like the idea of it, just say, man, why well, wasn't a fan of this video or something like that. But really, going into detail, saying it's nonsense, did you have to make this video? Did you really need to make this video? Don't dilute your product. You don't know what my product is, right? I've built this brand from, from the ground up, from nothing to something to, I'm having a lot of fun with it now. We've got quite a few members uh, that I talk to on the daily in our Discord, that I talk to in the live chat. We've got a, quite a few regular viewers who come around and steal a nation. When I say viewers, steal a nation. We've got steal a nation that comes around and talks football and has a good time. So first of all, you don't know my product, right? I've done everything to from from like uh, uh, random streams to you know having a few sherbets playing Call of Duty on here. Not that I will much, but I've done things like playing Madden to, uh, um, you know, watching XFL, watching USFL, uh, watching other games. I've done a lot of things, over 600, 700 videos over two two years. So you don't know my product. And I know that I'm quite successful and I'm, and I'm having quite a lot of fun doing this. And that's the main point, right? My second point is, right? Did you really have to make a video? If you don't like the video, if you don't like this video, then make your own. It takes about 10 minutes, 10 minutes to create a YouTube channel or create a Google account that's connected to YouTube, activate it, turn on a microphone, put the camera on, and make a video, right? That's directed at you. Make your own damn video. If you don't like it, make your own. That's it. That's all I wanted to say. But today, guys, in this video that I'm that I'm making, and probably get judged at by this person again, if, if you don't like it, turn it off, right? Did the Pittsburgh Steelers defense get uh, worse or better, right? Worse or better? But going back to the video I made yesterday too, um, the reason why I did it, right? The the, the public, the, I guess, the public perception uh, from that video was who will the Steelers sign next or what's the next move for Omar Khan was the multiple choice was uh, the, the most answers I got was D, Steelers signing Edmonds. And I agree with that. And we're going to talk about the defense today, uh, Steelers signing Edmonds. But Wind Walker makes a great point, right? He says here, they're going, he says, he says they're going to sign A, which means any random player. But he makes a good point. They're going to wait on Edmonds 
uh, until he hasn't gotten much interest. So they will wait until try and get him cheaper. And that could happen too, right? As much as Steel Nation wants Edmonds to sign, there hasn't been much noise the last two days around Edmonds, any rumors going to any, any other places. So maybe he's not getting that much attention from other teams. They're waiting around. And I trust Omar Khan to do, to do what he does, right? I really do. So I trust him. So I, I think that he will end up joining the Steelers, but it may take a few, few days or it may take a few things to work out. Um, also, I want to uh, get some uh, other news too. This morning, we found out that uh, Malik Reed is signing a one-year deal with the Dolphins, right? This defense is changing. The whole defense is pretty much changed. Now, we, got, we kept our, star, our stars like TJ, Highsmith, Minka, Cameron, Haywood, those dudes, right? But everyone around that is changing, and we haven't locked up Terrell Evans yet, right? So we haven't got a safety, okay? But uh, I thought this was I, I thought this was going to happen. Malik Reed didn't really do too much last year. I thought this was going to happen. So he signs with the Dolphins. We know Devin Bush signed with the Seattle Seahawks, right? So everything is kind of changing because we have a lot of new pieces. When you look to the defense, you have the sign Larry Ogunjobi. You have no tackle Montrevious Adams. I don't believe that Tyson Alulu is going to be there. I think they'll go to the draft in that, at that at that position. Uh, Cameron Haywood is there at tackle. TJ Watt, high speed on the other side. Two new, brand new middle linebackers, Cole Holcomb and uh, Elandon Roberts, right? Two new blokes there with Robinson to back up. Malik Reed's gone. Devin Bush is gone. Splane's gone. Done, 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 done. The whole linebacking call is like cut in half. See you later. And it's going to be hopefully a good thing for our team. I think it's a good thing, right? Patrick Peterson comes in at uh, cornerback. Cameron Sutton goes and signs. You have uh, Minka there, of course. Levi Walls, Arthur Millette. I think those blokes will stay. But but they haven't signed other dudes. Like They haven't signed Pierre. Uh, they haven't signed Marcus Allen. They haven't signed these kind of dudes yet. And they haven't signed Terrell Evans. So here's the question. Did the Pittsburgh Steelers defense get better or worse? And I kind of think better because I kind of like the way what they did with the middle linebackers being really strong at that point and going and going down the field to to be more run stop heavy than than pass coverage, right? And like I said a few videos ago, I believe if you can put pressure on the quarterback with the edge with uh, TJ Watt, High Smith, and and run stop, you're going to force these teams to pass. And look, every linebacker can cover. You know, they they always say line they, they, that middle linebacker can't cover. They can cover, just not as well as other people, right? So Holcomb and uh, Roberts, they can cover, just not as well as like a cornerback or a, um, um, I don't know, who's really, who's, was Keekly a good cover? I don't know. You know what I'm trying to say? Every player can play football. That's what they're there to do. So I believe in, I believe what they're doing and I believe they have got better, right? I really do. Now, that, that's my, uh, that's my point. I believe the defense has got better because they got rid of Devin Bush and Jack and they just, they just weren't guys that were tackling. They just and, and Spillane was good, but they've upgraded to the sense at middle linebacker position. Now I want to bring up the last point uh, because this is this is this is the point now, right, guys? Get ready for this, right? This is via BTSC, so behind this little curtain, I will link the article uh, in the video below, right? Am I allowed to show this, mate? Hey, can I can I do this? Can I show this part? Is that all right? Oh, this, oh it's been eight minutes. Can I show this? Hey. Do you really have to do a video about BTSC? Am I am I allowed am I allowed to do this on my channel? I don't know. Go jog on, mate. If you don't if you don't like it, jog on. See you later. You know what? Better yet, make a new channel. How about you make one and I'll be the first to comment. I'll be the first to comment and critique your work. Okay. Alrighty. That's fun, isn't it? I'm a bit of a bit of a ramped up mood today. I can't wait for the season. I can't wait. Uh, okay, so this is via Dave from BTSC. Uh, Steelers' salary cap heading into frenzy was, was minus 1.4. So there's a whole article here, but I will just you know pinpoint this part. William Jackson was cut and he, he saved. Uh, we got back $11 million, right? Uh, Carlin's Patel, uh, nothing. Patrick Peterson, uh, minus three and a half. So I've also, I appreciate Dave for doing this work too, because I, I haven't read the article completely, but I appreciate him doing all the work. Demonte Carzi went down minus minus uh, minus one point two. Nate Herbig one minus one point six, uh, minus one point eight five. So they're making some big moves, man. At the cheap, right? They're making some big moves at the cheap. Now Minka re Minka redid his deal, uh, and and got back ten million. Elandon Roberts got minus one point four. Miles Jack cut. He got plus seven, right? And Ogan Joby no report yet. So according to Dave from behind the silk curtain, and Dave's a good bloke. 
Apparently, they have $17.5 million. And look at all the moves there already. They got, they brought in Peterson. They brought back Kazi, Herbig, Holcomb, uh, Roberts, all around the same price, under $17 million, right? There could be a chance still in nation that, um, you know, with this spare money, next week and week two is going to be firing. And I believe now maybe because it's what, your Saturday, right? It's Saturday in America. So maybe Omar Khan, the fellas are taking time off. Of course, they're still working, right? But there's some spare money there to make some moves. There's some spare money there to possibly give Edmonds a deal, which would be fantastic. Maybe they do go and get Bud Dupree. I don't know. Maybe they bring in someone else who I've never heard of in my life to, to, to fill a role, right? To maybe a left tackle comes in. I don't know. But there's some money there, guys. Uh, as I end the video, there's some money. $17.5 $17. million. So Omar Khan is an absolute wizard. But anyway, guys, thank you for checking out Steelers Nation Australia. Don't be this guy. If you have to make, if you have to go to extend on a video, do you really have a video? Don't dilute your product. You don't know what my product is, right? I know what my product is. I talk football, I watch football, and I talk Steelers from Australia. I know my stuff. Make your own damn channel. All right, guys, I'll see you later.